before completing its second year, the Oni government suffered a setback. The Court of Appeal in Iloring, the Quara State Capital, delivered an appeal judgment in February 2009 over the 2007 governorship election. The appeal had been filed by the Action Congress in reaction to an earlier election tribunal judgment which upheld Governor Oni's election. The new verdict ordered the Speaker of the State House of Assembly to assume office as the acting governor while the governorship election was to be reconducted in 63 wards across 10 local government councils in the state. There is going to be a rerun of the election in some wards in a number of local governments. I assure you that for the period I will be as the head of government, I will be fair to all in the coming elections, irrespective of their political affiliations. The rerun election was taken seriously by the two sides involved. After 79 days in office, Odeyemi handed over to the winner of the rerun election. Shegwoni returned to the government house with renewed vigor and determination to make the best of a second opportunity at governance. He started to consolidate the gains of his first coming, the road revolution which the government started in its earliest days was intensified. By the time we are Four years there, our target is to deliver more than a thousand kilometers of very, very good here. Today, there is no town or village that has an over that there is no road, motorable road through. I, I can say very clearly that gone are the days when we used to have the heroes of this world, the uh, of this world, the Yemero uh, Itapaji, the Omu, Vijelu, and so on, all those places, um, you know, Ilemesho, those places that were locked out. Locked out as if they are not a part of the state. Today, it's been, they have been opened up. And the people of those states, their children can visit them now. In the last two or three years, we have seen good, solid roads being built in Ekiti. And I took time, or maybe I've taken time, to go around the whole of Ekiti state to check on all those uh claims that we have built this we have built that and i can say uh, without any fear of contradiction that this administration has done a lot in the area of road construction i thought we could say the same thing about water but i'm afraid we cannot we have put a treatment plant in ado that makes the capacity of uh, Ado Ureje Water Works more than double. Nearly uh, the installed capacity doubled, but the actual output about four times what it used to be. Um, that means there's water. We are not there yet where we want to be, but we can say that today at least 50% of the people are receiving water. The educational sector has specifically benefited from the ONI administration. New blocks of classrooms were built, tables and chairs were provided, and test books acquired. Personal computer sets were handed over, free of charge, to some SS1 students. 
But for the first time, I want to announce to you that every child in boarding school in a state, in boarding school, has a laptop to themselves. My children, please show off your laptop. Lift them up. These are some of them. And you can ask them questions at the end of the day. Every child has a laptop in senior secondary school. One. Mo bo shuba kare fu se gun ni nipa ajo se wopo awon omo lewe wa nipa ise ribiribi to se pelu awon omo lewe particular awon omo primary school secondary school fu ile orisirisi e to ko fun won the moribund boarding system in secondary schools was restored to reawaken the old congenial atmosphere of learning poultry bursary allowances gave way to bounty scholarship awards we have awarded more than 3,000 scholarships. No, more than three, much more than 3,000. Because we have awarded over 200 PhD scholarships. We, we have awarded maritime scholarships, aviation scholarships, language uh, school year abroad uh, scholarship, law school is automatic for every equity indigenous. I understand some people who are not equity even call themselves equity now. And it's very difficult for us to to disentangle. But so, education has never been this free anywhere in Nigeria before. I'm aware that we only pay bursary, but he has changed it to uh, to scholarship. So many families have benefited from this uh, scheme. A new University of Science and Technology has been established by the government to increase the state-owned universities to two and a medical school added to the University of Adwekiti. With Adwekiti University and the new university in Mifaki and the Colleges of Education, I think our future is bright educationally. But again, I think uh, it is not, there's no point you know, manufacturing or producing graduates without work. And so I look forward to Ikiti being developed uh, industrially, particularly in the agricultural sector, so that we don't, we don't just produce graduates from universities having no work to do. We have a lot of uh, graduates who are jobless, and we like the government as much as possible to attract to it to see a lot of industries, so that these jobless graduates will get jobs to do. In the health sector, the UNI administration has perhaps made its greatest impact upgrading the former state hospital to the status of a university teaching hospital and relocating the old state hospital to a new site. This map commemorates the foundation laying of the general hospital complex, Adoikiti, which is hereby named as Opa Adeyamadi Jube Hospital. Meanwhile, facilities at the teaching hospital are being overhauled. A new modern theater is in place and more top flight medical personnel engaged. We have created what we call the Blue Hospitals now, 115 of them in uh, Ikiti State. We have already also refurbished uh, five or six general hospitals. I think six general hospitals are already refurbished. We have already established the teaching of people, something that people thought was impossible, and not just establishing the teaching of people by changing the signboard, but by beginning to put world-class facilities there. The, the theater there now is, is one of the best around. The government's social responsibility rating has been enhanced by its partnership with the Cuban government, which gave birth to a first-class ophthalmological center. The eye center that we have is uh, one of the top 50 in the world. The center has attracted patronage from the length and breadth of Nigeria through its free eye surgery program termed Surgical Festival. Beneficiaries of the treatment center have demonstrated such boundless joy that sometimes bring tears to the eyes of the medical personnel. One of the earliest introductions of the UNI government was microcredit assistance to Ikiti people across different strata.
it was an interventionist program targeted at a population of common people. From the beginning of the administration, passion was high in respect of agriculture. The dairy farm at Ikun Ikiti was rehabilitated and stocked with new exotic cattle. Land was made available to youth for farming at the Ori Ikiti farm settlement. This, like the cassava revolution, was intended to redirect a good population of Ikiti people into food production and unless same productive boost for the prospective ethnal biofuel agenda of the administration. Same goes for the sericultural venture on which the government has assisted farmers to cultivate mulberry plants, a major raw material in the silk production enterprise. The government has taken decisive steps to check a harvest of anomalies in the civil service. We brought dignity to, to, the, to the average civil servant. We brought pride to them. We brought confidence to them. We, we know that uh, the civil servant from Ikiti can hold his high, head high anywhere he goes to in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And we know that, but for us, there will be no achievement that the state uh, will be pointing to today. There is no government that uh, talks about achieving anything without uh, the civil service. We have now nine judicial uh, divisions uh, located at, uh, with the four we had, we now have an additional uh, five located at uh, Omo, F1, Ido, and Emore, Ise. The judiciary also came into being with uh, just eight magisterial districts. We now have 22 magisterial districts. Now we have 34 customary courts as at August, August 2010. And just last week, three more additional uh, magisterial uh, courts, uh, magistrate courts were opened at uh, Ayeto Reikiti, Laura Reikiti and at the correct respectively. Gratuity and pension policies have earned the government accolades. The days are gone when retired civil servants waited endlessly to collect their gratuities. Arrears of pension has also become a thing of the past. Objects of this benevolence can't hide their gratitude. More I'm very happy with the, with, with the government, even with the governor. I wish him and his family and those who are working with him, I wish them happy life, happy living. Like other Ikiti senior citizens, the government has accorded the highest recognition to Obas across the state, giving them their due in the dividend of governance and staying off interference in the processes leading to all Obership installations since May 29, 2007. Greatest pleasure to present 
The staff of KBAC, the last day of the day today on the 13th of March, to attest publicly that we have started a reign that the Almighty God will make very, very peaceful, will make very progressive, will make very, very, very long. As the responsibility of government increases by the day, while resources, especially from the federal government, are on the decline, it becomes unavoidable that methods must be fashioned out to boost the state internally generated revenue. If the oil money stops to flow, it will almost become un unviable. And we've got to really sit down today and begin to look critically at what we have. And now we can begin to create wealth from what we have. Agro, allied industry is a major area of wealth creation for us. God has given that to us virtually free. The soil is free. It is the second most viable area for production of cassava. We can produce coffee. We can produce fruits. And there are thousands of tons. We can produce yam for export. What others do to earn money, to earn, uh, to, to generate income, are not big things. They rely on what they can do with what God has given unto them. People should be energetic. Let us go into small, medium scale agro allied enterprises. There's a large demand for some of those things we make in equity. If we elevate them to industrial level. If we don't have oil money and we don't begin to look at how to uh, generate money internally, it is not going to be viable. As the Indians, Japanese, Chinese and Jews did for their countries, equities in diaspora are required to repatriate resources and technical know-how for the development of equity state. This is a passionate appeal from the government and people of equity. To Ekiti people at home and abroad, the most cheering news will be the ONI administration's acceleration and completion of the 132-33 kVA electricity project, which would guarantee optimum electricity supply to Ekiti people, assist in the treatment and circulation of clean water throughout the state. For the arrival of there is no doubt that the industrial yearning of Fikiti can materialize only upon a sound base of electricity supply. That indispensable promise has been laid by the Sheguni administration. A government whose legislative arm is sharply divided across party lines like that of Fikiti cannot but experience hiccups at one point or another, regardless of political or human relations expertise. The incumbent government has had to cope with the peculiarity of the State House of Assembly. Ours is to make laws, oversight functions, and some other things attached to it. But we got to realize that for the mere fact that we have not been, been in the system for quite a long time, because even during the military regime, you always, the executive and the judiciary, they usually operate. It's only the legislative arm. And this has actually caused a, it's a, sort of, caused a sort of setback to the legislative arm. And now that we are coming up, uh, without financial independence and some other things attached to it to make us truly independent, we still fall back at the executive. We have passed so many bills, over 30 bills have been passed into law. 
And in all this, not less than 98% of these bills are all government bills. If about 98% of the bills passed are government bills, and we have gone ahead to pass them into law, it means it's a clear indication that we are actually working in tandem with uh, the executive arm. We work closely and we work together to uplift the Kichi state. But in the process of doing that, we will not lose sight in the fact that we have our own role to play as legislators. The concern of every true citizen is to see Ekiti occupying its rightful place under the Nigerian sun. Towards achieving that objective, every successive government has made its contributions as afforded aid by fund, vision, and sincerity of purpose. A major drawback in the life of the current administration, however, has to do with the litigation that followed the 2007 governorship election result. There is no democracy without an opposition. You must have a vibrant opposition to put checks and balances on whoever is there because it's not God. It's bound to make mistakes, but we want to correct, we must correct ourselves with love and affection, knowing from we are from the same source. We need to do that. We need to have love. We need to work together harmoniously so that we learn how to build on the foundation of another person. As the political state gets busier in preparation for another season of elections, more aspirants are emerging just as concern is rising for elections free of violence, rigging and ballot snatching. Those who struggled for the creation of Ekiti are supportive of all effort directed at promoting peace and unity. The governor himself is as passionate as the founding fathers on the sustenance of the Ekiti spirit of honor, peace, industry and communalism. As Nigeria grows by one year on every first day of October, Ekiti will continue to do the same. The hope, however, is that development in Ekiti state at every successive celebration of its creation matches its figurative growth. Yet, physical growth will be meaningless in the absence of love, unity, and tolerance. Other things being equal, Ekiti, like in the educational sector, can be a beacon to other states. Barring political acrimony, Ekiti has the inherent quality to signal the beginning of Nigeria's redemption. Let us rise to that challenge. Amen.